Hi guys, it's Drew here at Card of My Eye, and today I'm going to show share with you how to create the Father's Day mini album pages for your Father's Day mini book. I'm going to have two parts, one for the pages and one for the construction of the album. Now all the pages are um, the same exact um, concept, they're all the same, so I'm just going to show you how to make one and then you just repeat it for all the other pages. So let's get started. You're going to want to grab a black paper bag from your kit, and what we're going to start off by doing is folding this flap down like this. You're going to fold this flap down and just make sure it's nice and creased. Grab your bone folder. You could even crease it a bit more if you'd like to. Give it a good crease. And then what you're going to want to do is fold one side up and flip it over and fold the other side up as well. And you're just going to, you can kind of look on the side here to see if they're lining up. So you're just going to align them like that and go on the opposite side and align them and then press it and burnish the fold. Just like that. So it's really simple. You're just going to fold them up on either side like this. Either side of the little flap. Essentially it looks like this. A paper bag. But you're just going to fold it under and stick it up like that. So it looks like this. So that's the first step. Then what you're going to want to do is grab your paper trimmer. And you're going to cut it at 7 and 1 8 inch. So if you could see this little um, 7 here. You're going to cut it at 7. And then this little tick mark right here is the 1 8 inch mark. This is a quarter inch mark, this is a half, this is a quarter, this is a one eighth. So you're gonna cut it at seven and one eighth inch along this edge. Well, not along it, you're just gonna line this edge, edge up on the seven and one eighth inch mark um, and cut off the top of your paper bag that has the little um, kind of pinked edges, if you see what I mean there. They're kind of like pinked on the edges. So you're just gonna cut that off, you're just gonna have a little tiny bit that comes off. Um, so now your page is seven and one eighth inches, and as you can see, it perfectly matches up with your other, um, with the album page. And now what we're gonna do is start um, covering our page, and I'm not gonna completely cover it, I'm just gonna add little tiny tacks of glue just to basically show you where to cover it. But to cover the back piece here, what you're going to need, well actually first, before I do that, you're gonna need to you you're gonna need to cut a hinge from your craft paper. Now in your kit you got two sheets of eight and a half by eleven craft paper. You're gonna cut this flap to five and three quarters inches by two inches and score it down the middle at one inch. And then you're gonna have a little hinge that looks like this. It's gonna fold that, crease it, and then I suggest that you put um, um, the sticky strip on the 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 side that. If you could see this here, it, this this is the side that opens. So you're gonna put it on the outside, right on the edge of that fold on both sides, because this this is gonna this is what's gonna be attached to the area. So as you can see, right close to each other, just like that. And then I'm just gonna add just a couple little tacks of um, some permanent adhesive along there. Or essentially, you just run a strip of ATG or something along that line. And then I'm going to peel this up just like that. Very simple and easy to do. And all I'm going to do is lay it down, lining up against the top here. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you could see this. Where's my little zoom button at? There it is. So then I'm gonna align this one directly up here like that and go all the way down to the bottom and align it up. So you have a perfectly aligned up piece right with that top corner there is what you're gonna wanna line it up with. So after you have that all aligned, um, then you're going to cut, take off this little portion, this piece here, and you're also going to want to add some sticky strip, uh, don't know what that is, but you're going to want to add some sticky strip along this, or some ATG tape, more likely, or you can add sticky strip along the whole thing. You're just going to want something really strong right at that joint, because this is going to be attached to your paper bag, and then to your hinge. Now, the piece of paper that you're going to use for your hinge comes in your solid cardstock. So you get 18, four and a half by six and a half cardstocks. You're going to cut this to five and three quarter inches by four and a half inches. And I'll make sure to put all the measurements on the screen. So this is cut to five and a half, five and three quarters by four and a half. And as you can see, my paper trimmer is completely dull. So you're just going to align this up just like we did before, directly on top and all the way at the end of your hinge and just glue it down. Just like that. See how simple that was? Just align it up along that edge, and you're going to have a flap that opens just like this, which allows you for more photos and journaling. Now, on the top of this, you're going to add a piece of pattern paper. This pattern paper is cut a quarter inch smaller, so this one is cut to five and three quarters by four and a half. So this one's going to be cut to four and a quarter, or um, five and a half by four and a quarter. So just a quarter inch smaller. Again, I'll put the measurements on the screen. As you can see, it just nests in there a quarter inch smaller. 
and I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue just right on the corners, just to essentially show you where to put them. I'll go ahead and glue it down later. I just didn't wanna um, accidentally knock over the camera with my ATG gun. And um, I barely have any glue left in this little thing, as you could tell, there's like that much. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do there, and then it flips open like this. This is you're gonna be your flap. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a piece of paper. The piece of paper that's going to be on the inside measures um, four and three quarters this way, so four and three quarters by six inches tall. And again, I'm just gonna add some adhesive to the corners to, to, just to um, tack it in there. But you're gonna wanna add it to the whole thing. And you're going to align it up along this edge, making sure not to go over that joint all the way along the edge and along this edge here. And just tack it down. Just like that, really, really simple to do. Just all the way uh, butted up against the top and against this edge to where you can still fold this back and open and make sure there's nothing hanging over this edge here, which in my case, there's just a little super tiny little sliver, but not much. And actually, there's not going to be after I readjust that side there. Okay, sorry about that. So that's gonna be your paper. Again, this base piece is four and three quarters by six inches, and this is gonna be flapping like this. And as you could tell, we already have essentially this, a similar um, looking piece. And then what we're going to be doing is we are going to be, let me just fold this over again. We are going to be adhering this one, this flap up. And the reason I don't have my pattern paper going all the way down is uh, because you're not gonna see it all. So what you're gonna do is I like to use the eighth inch score tape because it gives you a larger pocket. Um, or a larger tag that you could fit in there, but I add the eighth inch, eighth inch score tape all the way along the edge, as close as I can get it, all the way down on both hinges to where you can still bend it, like that. On this side, just add the ATG tape all the way down, just like this, and you're gonna pull it off of either side. You could just add it on one little portion if you like, like this one and like this one here and this one here, but I, I just like to add it to the whole thing. And you're gonna fold it up, and actually you're gonna fold it up and actually make it a line up. Okay, just like that. And after you have that folded up, as you can see your flap's gonna close and just have the super tiniest little gap right there of pattern paper showing. And this is gonna be your tag or your pocket base. And you, then what you're going to do after you have this is you're gonna add pattern paper onto this piece here. This measures one and one eighth inches by four and a half inches. So it's one and one eighth by four and a half. Let me just make sure on that. Yes, four and a half by one and one eighth. So yes, four and a half by one and one eighth inches. And you're just gonna add a little bit of um, ATG tape or your um, favorite liquid adhesive, whatever you wanna use along the bottom. That just um, allows for just covering up a portion of that black because it's just a little bit too black and we just added a little bit more pattern to there. So as you can see, this is gonna be your front page, just like this, flips open. And for the insert tag, since we have a pocket here, um, all the tags in the album are made using the matte pad and this um, this is a solid cardstock. This is cut to six and one quarter by four and a quarter and the layer is cut to six inches by four inches. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a bit of adhesive and you're just gonna layer this down into the center of your larger, like that, and then this will fit perfectly in your pocket. And of course, I would, again, use more much stronger adhesive just to adhere it down. Just for demonstrations, I'm just gonna use a little bit of adhesive. So you just have something that looks like this now. I'll make sure to put all the, the um, dimensions on the screen and also my blog, I'll link it below so you can find it all. Then you're gonna flip it over, and this is just like you're flipping your book, just like this. And again, we're gonna have another base piece which matches um, this one, or it, it's not the same cardstock pattern, but it's still gonna be the same um, length. So what you're going to do, basically we're repeating what we did on the front just without this little flap thingy here. So instead of adhering on our flap first, we are going to adhere on our patterned paper, and this is cut to four and three quarters by six inches. So what you're gonna do is just add adhesive and glue that down. Just like, just like that. And then again, we're gonna use our eighth inch sticky strip. This is a super thin eighth inch sticky strip and you're gonna adhere it down here. And down here. And you're gonna peel that up and just 
fold your um, pocket flap over. So this creates your pocket. As you can see, you have a little opening insert pocket. I need to just burnish.